Welcome to this tutorial on model-based design for quadcopter autopilot. From concept to prototype. Here is the outline of this tutorial. In this session, we will focus on the functional requirements of an autopilot. There are multiple flight modes of the autopilot of a quadcopter. In this tutorial, we will focus on these four. Stabilized mode, altitude mode, position mode, and trajectory mode. Each mode offers different levels of autonomy and pilot control, allowing flexibility for various applications. Before we proceed, let's take a brief look at how the remote controller RC works. An RC allows the operator to control the vehicle's movement, including velocities, throttle, roll, pitch, and yaw. Most RC transmitters have two sticks, each responsible for different movement axes. The right stick controls the drone's roll, tilting it sideways to move left or right. Moving the stick right moves the drone right, while moving left moves it left. The right stick also controls the drone's pitch, tilting it forward or backward. Pushing forward moves the drone forward, while pulling back moves it backward. The left stick controls the drone's yaw around its vertical axis. Moving the stick right turns the drone right, while moving left turns it left. The left stick also controls the drone's altitude, vertical velocity or acceleration. Pushing up makes the drone ascend, while pulling down makes it descend. Here is a summary of how the RC sticks control the drone's four movement axes. All right, let's return to the functional requirements of the stabilized mode. Stabilized mode, also known as manual mode, the autopilot assists the pilot by stabilizing the aircraft, but the pilot is responsible for controlling the throttle, pitch, roll, and yaw. If the sticks are released, the quadcopter levels itself but does not hold altitude or position. This mode is useful for manual flying with basic stabilization. In stabilized mode, the RC stick controls the quadcopter's roll angle, allowing the operator to tilt the drone sideways. The autopilot helps stabilize the roll, ensuring the quadcopter returns to level when the stick is released. In stabilized mode, the RC stick controls the quadcopter's pitch angle, allowing the operator to tilt the drone forward or backward. The autopilot helps maintain stability, ensuring the drone levels out when the stick is released. In stabilized mode, the RC stick controls the quadcopter's yaw angle rate, allowing the operator to rotate the drone left or right around its vertical axis. The autopilot helps stabilize the yaw maneuver. In stabilized mode, the RC throttle stick input is sent directly to the control allocation subsystem, which we will discuss in the latter session of this tutorial. The throttle input adjusts the power to the motors to control the quadcopter's vertical maneuver. It determines the drone's ascent or descent, while the autopilot maintains stability. Please note that, in stabilized mode, the drone may drift horizontally due to wind or other sources, and the operator must manually adjust the throttle to maintain altitude as the autopilot only stabilizes the roll, pitch, yaw, and vertical movement. All right, let's move on to altitude mode. Altitude mode, also known as altitude hold mode, the autopilot maintains a constant altitude based on barometer or other altitude sensors, while the operator controls roll, pitch, and yaw. This mode reduces the operator's workload by automatically adjusting throttle to keep altitude stable, which is commonly used for smooth flying. Same to stabilized mode. In altitude mode, 
The RC stick controls the quadcopter's roll angle, allowing the operator to tilt the drone sideways. The autopilot helps stabilize the roll, ensuring the quadcopter returns to level when the stick is released. In pitch axis of altitude mode, same to stabilized mode, the RC stick controls the quadcopter's pitch angle, allowing the operator to tilt the drone forward or backward. The autopilot helps maintain stability, ensuring the drone levels out when the stick is released. In yaw axis of altitude mode, same to stabilized mode, the RC stick controls the quadcopter's yaw angle rate, allowing the operator to rotate the drone left or right around its vertical axis. The autopilot helps stabilize the yaw maneuver. In altitude mode, the RC throttle stick controls the quadcopter's vertical speed. Pushing it above 50% causes the drone to ascend, while pulling it below 50% makes it descend. Holding the stick at 50% maintains the current altitude. Please note that, in altitude mode, the drone may drift horizontally due to wind or other sources as the autopilot only stabilizes the roll, pitch, yaw while maintaining altitude, but does not control horizontal position and heading. All right, let's move on to position mode. Position mode, also known as loiter mode, the autopilot maintains horizontal position, altitude, and heading, i.e. E, yaw angle. The operator can control movement with the sticks, but when released, the quadcopter holds its horizontal position, altitude, and heading. This mode is ideal for aerial photography, inspections, or hovering in a fixed location without constant manual input. In roll axis of position mode, the RC roll stick controls the quadcopter's horizontal velocity in the left and right direction, along the Y axis in body coordinates. Releasing the stick allows the autopilot to automatically hold position. Similarly, in pitch axis of position mode, the RC pitch stick controls the quadcopter's horizontal velocity in the forward and backward direction, along the x-axis in body coordinates. Releasing the stick allows the autopilot to automatically hold position. In yaw axis of position mode, same to stabilized mode, the RC stick controls the quadcopter's yaw angle rate, allowing the operator to rotate the drone left or right around its vertical axis. Releasing the stick allows the autopilot to automatically hold the current heading, i.e. yaw angle. In position mode, same to altitude mode, the RC throttle stick controls the quadcopter's vertical speed. Pushing it above 50% causes the drone to ascend, while pulling it below 50% makes it descend. Holding the stick at 50% maintains the current altitude. To summarize, in position mode, keeping the RC sticks at 50% holds the quadcopter's current horizontal position, altitude, and heading. All right, let's move on to trajectory mode. Trajectory mode, also known as mission mode or auto mode, the quadcopter follows a predefined flight path or waypoint mission autonomously. The autopilot handles navigation, altitude changes, and speed adjustments without real-time pilot input. This mode can be used for autonomous missions like surveying, mapping, and delivery operations. In trajectory mode, the ground control station, GCS, sends reference trajectory commands to the drone's autopilot, guiding its movement along a predefined path. The trajectory consists of a sequence of spatial points with corresponding timestamps, ensuring precise position and timing control during flight. In trajectory mode, 
the autopilot is responsible for precisely following the reference trajectory, which includes the horizontal position, altitude, and yaw angle, all defined with corresponding timestamps. This allows the drone to move along a predetermined path, making real-time adjustments to its speed, orientation, and altitude in sync with the specified timeline. By continuously tracking the reference points and timestamps, the autopilot ensures accurate navigation and smooth transitions between spatial points, maintaining the drone's position and orientation with high precision throughout the entire flight. Let's wrap up the four flight modes of an autopilot. Stabilized mode. The autopilot helps stabilize the drone's roll, pitch, and yaw, but the operator is responsible for controlling altitude and position. It provides basic stabilization for manual flight. Altitude mode. Here, the autopilot maintains the drone's altitude by adjusting throttle, while the operator controls the roll, pitch, and yaw. It reduces the pilot's workload by keeping the drone at a constant altitude. Position mode. In this mode, the autopilot holds both the horizontal position, altitude, and heading, allowing the operator to focus on adjusting the roll, pitch, and yaw. Trajectory mode. The autopilot follows a predefined path consisting of a sequence of spatial points with timestamps. Each mode offers different levels of autonomy and control, making it suitable for various flight operations. All right, now we've introduced the functional requirements of an autopilot. Combining other requirements, such as safety requirements, performance requirements, etc., we can define the system architecture of the autopilot. The autopilot system architecture is designed to meet these requirements, ensures all systems work together seamlessly to meet both functional and safety standards, providing a reliable, stable, and safe flight experience. In the next session, we will explore the system architecture of the autopilot. I look forward to your participation.